Hello everyone and um, long time no see. I have just been having a little uh, vlogging break, sewing break as well, um, purely down to um, what's been going on in the world and my um, family being home all the time. It just means I just have so little time to do the things I did before. Um, so uh, unfortunately that just means that I haven't done very much sewing and therefore I don't have an awful lot to chat to you guys about on uh, on the vlog and also just vlogging and um, editing and all that kind of thing um, had to take a back, a back seat as well because I just didn't have the time to dedicate to it. I've missed it so much um, but I've been doing other things instead. Uh, mainly just looking after my family. Um, I hope you're all keeping well and um, and safe and happy um, and I hope you're getting some sewing in. I've been um, on Instagram a lot uh, like looking and watching and chatting to people on Instagram and it looks like a lot of you are having a great time uh, sewing which is wonderful. Um, I have a big pile of stuff here because I've been doing some shopping so I haven't had time to sew but I've had time to shop. <laughs> um, so I thought I would do a haul video. I know my last vlog that I put up was also a haul video so it just shows you I've been doing a lot of shopping and not a lot of using up what I've been buying, I have to admit. I have done a, some of the sewing from the last vlog, some of the plans, so I will share that with you hopefully soon. Um, but for now it's just another haul <laughs> video. Um, one of the things I did uh, do uh, recently was uh, launch some fabric on my website. I um, happened to get hold of some beautiful Irish linen that's produced in a mill um, in Northern Ireland and I had been holding on to it in the hopes of using it in my sewing classes but with those being on hold I thought well why don't I see if I could sell them online instead. Um, just so they're not hanging around in my house and um, I, I had all planned to um, share it with you on the vlog before it went live but I just as I said I didn't have time and it, it probably wouldn't have mattered anyway because um, the fabric all sold out in a couple of hours but I'll show you I've got some scraps left over that I'm gonna keep for myself because I wanted it all to be honest um, so this beautiful, like a chambray um, linen, or obviously linen, chambray blue color there. I really have very little of that, so I like maybe 40 centimeters of that, so probably won't make much of this. I have two pieces of this with a seam down the middle, so um, keeping this for myself because I love it so much, but again, maybe just about a meter of it. See, there's the seam so I couldn't really sell that um, but the color of that just is very me isn't it and then this one as well I had seven linens in total look at that lovely like a sea foam green this is a really light thin thin soft one the quality of these linens are stunning um, if you're interested in getting your hands on some Irish linen I, I hope to get back to the mill um, at some point uh, so do keep an eye on my uh, website and on my Instagram if you're if you're interested in um, maybe picking up some it's a uh, excellent excellent quality it's all um, X designer dead stock fabric so it's limited like I wouldn't be getting those colors back in more than likely um, I don't know what what is there when I go to the mill so um, you, you have to be quick if you see a colour or a fabric that you like but yeah hopefully when things get semi back to normal I might have some more linen up on my website so link down below if um, you are interested and you could sign up to I've got a newsletter which I have not released a newsletter yet but you can sign up and then I'll definitely have a newsletter announcing more uh, fabric so if you're interested you can sign up Right, on to my haul and I'll try and not take too long because there's quite a lot of fabric. So yeah, I sold that fabric and then I bought more fabric. <laughs> so just, uh, it's an addiction, isn't it? I know you guys can all relate. Anyway, 
Um, I don't have any firm plans for most of this stuff. It's just things that I've had to have. So this one I'm going to start with is a cotton lawn or poplin, I think. But it has um, lightning bolts embroidered on it. Amazing. I love it so much. So I'm thinking a shirt, maybe just a fun shirt, something like that. It would also be nice as pajamas. I don't have enough for like a top and bottom of pajamas unless they were shorts. Could be cute. Don't know. Maybe. What do you what would you make with that? Or a little dress? I think I have two meters off it. Yeah, pretty sure I have two meters. I got this from Material Girl Laura. Really love her shop. She has fabulous fabric. So there's that one. Um, and then I picked up some fabric from uh, Minerva. Uh, I think they were having a sale. Um, so these fabrics were all very cheap, uh, but I think they're cheap anyway. Uh, viscose, uh, very lightweight viscose nice black and white you can see there um, and I picked this up to use as a muslin excuse my crazy hair um, I was like my hair's not great but I could do a vlog or I could just not do a vlog because my hair's not great so that's one of the issues with vlogging is I'm like oh I don't look nice enough to film so just please accept my slightly greasy hair right um, that was a big, big tangent there. Right, so I picked this up to um, make a muslin for this pattern, which I probably have chatted about at the beginning of the year and I never got around to making it. It's Simplicity 8872 and I have some beautiful Mind the Maker fabric, which is like a, uh, that's a fabric brand. And it's this stunning, expensive um, leopard print viscose that I splurged on at the beginning of the year and had planned on making this dress here with it but I'm too scared to just cut straight into that fabric without testing this pattern as I haven't made it yet so I was like right I'll pick up some cheap um, viscose and this one was I don't know four pounds a meter something like that so um, I'm not so scared about that but I also think that'd be a really nice dress so win-win if it works then also from Minerva I picked up a couple of other um, viscoses because they were um, in the sale I think they were in the sale they were cheap anyway as I say probably about four pounds a meter something like that so this one here which is lovely I love the color and I know it will really suit me um, the, my only disappointment is that the flowers are beige rather than white. Um, it might not show up on the screen and that is a problem, isn't it, with, with online shopping, is you're not exactly sure what the colours are. Probably if, you, if I saw this in real life I wouldn't have bought it because I much prefer white to beige or cream because of my colourings. But I think I can get away with it anyway. I've got three metres of this so I can make something even this dress would be nice in that as well I'm not sure um I just I liked it uh, so I bought it <laughs> I also picked the same fabric up in mustard which I know a lot of you will love it's all crinkled because I've had it rolled up in a ball but I only bought a meter of this because I knew it wouldn't really suit my coloring but I thought wouldn't that make a really nice simple super simple quick like elasticated waisted um, skirt to wear sort of in autumn with um, a nice cozy jumper and tights and boots and still have a nice little bit of mustard. So that's my thing. I don't know why I can get out of meter. I think I can. We'll see. So that's that. And oh, then I um, bought something not to do with sewing. But it's crafting. Oh, it is to do with sewing, actually. Um, I wonder if any of you have come across this book before. It's called Baskets. And it's by, and now I'm, going, I'm not going to pronounce her name very well, I think. Tabara. Ndaye. Ndaye. I'm really sorry, Tabara, if I've not pronounced that correctly. 
um, but uh, she came, she released this last year and I just absolutely loved it. I saw a few people on Instagram um, chatting about it and the thing that really sold it to me was this rope bag which I just love. So I saw on Instagram that um, she was doing a kit where you buy the book, or well, you didn't have to buy the book, but I, I didn't have it. And you got the rope, cotton rope for the bag. And um, she also just included a little, I don't know, what's that? Crocheted or macrame um, keychain to go on your bag. And obviously the instructions and, and everything is in the book. So I'm really excited to do that. You sew it up on your sewing machine and I can't wait. I really think that it's just going to be so nice. There's the bag. The bag. I have to hide my face. Bag. Love it. It's so, so nice. So I'm really excited to make that. <laughs> so, right, that's that one. Okay, and the next one you can probably see here. It, it was also a splurge. <laughs> I'm so good at doing that. Um, but Fabric Godmother released some of her own... Um, fabrics uh, last year and then she's released some more this year and um, I think the first release she did she did this fabric in a yellow colorway and I love the concept of it it's like old tiles uh, floral tiles but it was in a yellow colorway and it just wasn't for me um, but this time she released it in blue and I just loved it so much I had to treat myself and get some. I actually bought this from So Me Sunshine because um, the fabrics are now available in other shops other than Fabric Godmother. So I sort of was supporting two small businesses in one by this purchase, which is yay, go me. <laughs> um, but anyway, onto the fabric, far more importantly. It's quite large scale. It's a viscose crepe. And it is beautiful. I oh, love it. And it is white. So that's good for me. There is cream in it too. Or beige. Um, but yeah. Oh, I just love it so much. Um, and again, this pattern would be so nice in it. I, th I, I think about three meters. So that's what I mean. It was a splurge. Normally I go for two meters when I don't know exactly what I'm buying the fabric for. But I'm starting to realize that a lot of the things that I want to make are now three meters. And uh, I don't have enough it, when I start shopping my stash. So bumping it up to three meters now. Where I think I might want it. So I really, really... I love this so much, so I'm very excited to have that. I have no idea when I'll get round to sewing any of these things. Great! And then the Dab Hand released some um, new fabrics um, last month, or the beginning, yeah, the end of last month. And um, I went on, had a little look, and kind of fell in love with a couple of them, so the, I uh, bought them. Dab Hand is a Northern Ireland based um, fabric shop. Um, online fabric shop and sometimes they have a pop-up um, obviously not at the moment but they have it online and um, I picked up this beautiful plum flower or leopard print what is it what do you think are they poppies not poppies pansies or leopard print I'm leaning towards leopard print but it could be flowers Anyway, it's a, um, what is it? A crepe of some kind. I think it's just polyester. Um, but I really love it. And again, I think that would be so nice and more kind of um, coming into autumn. It would make a very nice dress to wear. Again, with tights and boots and whatever not. And then because it didn't cost very much, I threw this um, quite unusual fabric into my basket as well. That last one I got three meters off. Again, it wasn't particularly expensive. Unfortunately, I think this is um, out of stock now. Uh, the last one and this one coming up. Um, but this is called Plisse. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Plisse. Plisse. And it is 
a permanently pleated fabric. Um, this hap I've seen it in woven, but this happens to be jersey. Not not enough. There's not really any stretch there. The stretch that way. A lot of stretch that way actually. Um, but it's got a silver um, foil print. Uh, printing on the top of it just to give it that lovely sheen it's it's that color is the main is the background and then there's the silver on the top so I'm just applying I bought a meter and a half of this and it was three pounds for half a meter so a bargain and um, I thought just a really simple gathered maybe midi length skirt um, would be very nice and you could wear it with chunky jumpers can you tell my mind's on um, autumn it's because our summer has pretty much gone and it's cold again <laughs> um, but yeah so something like that or you know dress it up in the evenings for all those parties I'll be going to yeah for when I'm drinking a, a G&T in my back garden <laughs> um, so yeah, really nice. My problem was I um, wanted, I thought a nice way of doing this would be an exposed elastic waistband. So I went on a hunt after I bought this and it arrived. I went on a hunt online to try and find the something that would suit. And I saw a few, like you could get a silver one, you know, because I wanted about an inch, at least an inch thick and preferably you know plush on the back so quite soft on the back just for comfort um, but didn't have to be and I saw a few and I saw like pink rose gold but I was like that's not going to go with the silver that's in the, on this um, and then I happened to find one uh, on the new craft house website uh, quite fancy stuff I think it was like six pounds a meter for elastic and then I had to pay postage so it was about ten pounds for a meter of this elastic but you know when you just see something and you know it's the the right one and nothing else um, will do yeah I just got that in my head so I had to buy it um, and it just turned up the other day so um, here it is oh there and it's got the silver sparkle in it but it's a lovely dusky pink and it is a pretty good match I have to say considering I bought these online and couldn't you know really compare I'm trying to get it there I think it's gonna be really really nice Um, it's probably slightly pinker than the fabric but it's the right tone Um, so it goes where it looks like it's supposed to go together Um, so I love it and it's be the, this is I mean it was expensive for elastic but it's exceptional quality it's Japanese apparently really good so there's that and then since we were talking about new craft house I did actually buy something from them just unfortunately at a different time so I had to pay postage separate postage for both of them say la vie um but yes uh, new craft house release their dead stock fabrics because that's all they stock is dead stock fabric um usually x designer really fabulous unusual fabrics and it goes like that if you don't check that night that they release their fabric it's gone anyway I had a look I had seen this being they do little um, like Instagram videos to show you some of the fabric that's going to be uh, released and um, so they give you an idea of what's coming up and I saw this fabric and I was like I love that um, for something so I've had this Vogue pattern in my stash for quite a while um, and it is like a kimono inspired um, jacket with these unusual sleeves. Ignore all the lines on it. Um, that's like bias binding that you can sew on. I won't be doing that. But I just love the sleeves and I have seen it on Instagram extended. And I just have in my mind always wanted to make this longer, like maybe knee length out of a black jacquard with a large scale floral print on it 
that's really specific but I just got this idea in my head and I've been looking for the right fabric for it and I saw this um, and thought it's maybe not exactly what I was thinking but I really think it would be beautiful as well so I put three meters in my um, basket well I bought three meters and um, it was expensive I think it was maybe 20 pounds a meter so I had it was a considered purchase um, but unfortunately when um, they were cutting my fabric they realized they didn't have enough and I think they only had I can't remember now two meters yeah um, and I, I, I can't make the, the jacket or coat that I had in mind with two meters I don't think no you, you can't even make the short the, this side this length of jacket was two meters so I was like okay I can't make that that but I still really love it it's very very special fabric so I went ahead and got it anyway so here we go I don't know if you'll be able to there it's like a floral, floral print on it let's see Oh yeah, there you can sort of see like a woven texture into the fabric. It's quite exceptional. I mean, it's a perfect deep black. That's just the light catching it, making it look sort of grayer there. Um, but yeah, it's really lovely. It, it would make a stunning um, sort of like winter dress actually. Cause it is, it is, mm, it's not lightweight it's not like a heavy coating put it that way you know it would be you could absolutely make a dress or a skirt or something like that out of it so now I'm not sure what to make out of it but I do really love it so if you've got any suggestions of what you think would be nice for this fabric please do let me know I'd love to hear and my very last piece that I'm going to share with you today told you it was quite a lot is um this lovely jersey from material girl laura um but it's black and white with these lovely red hearts on them and i just love it and i'm just gonna make i've got two meters of that and i'm gonna make myself a very nice nautical-esque um or french maybe uh inspired you know breton top something like that uh as for pattern I don't know maybe the gable oh big surprise <laughs> anyway it was really lovely to chat to you all again um hopefully I'll be able to get this edited and up on um the vlog on my channel soon um I have um I am hoping to get back to my sewing room and get some sewing done so I can actually show you things I've made rather than here's a look at more fabric I've bought because <laughs> I know that's a lot more interesting tutorials and sew alongs and things and all those sorts of videos that I know you have uh, been waiting for I will really try and get on to that um, my boy and husband will be back to school in some shape or form because uh, my husband's a teacher so and um, they will be back in some shape or form at the end of August which means I will have a little bit more free time so things might sort of get back to semi-normality then can't wait can't wait can't wait <laughs> anyway I hope you're all keeping well and I'll hopefully hopefully see you again soon bye for now